You heard that noise, right, dude? I can't slop wibbling with fear. I'm sure it came from somewhere in this room. Put my mind to news if you can help me find out who made it. No response, pile of scrap metal. Oh, it's not making any noise. Let's keep going and check somewhere else. Huh, looks like this robot's not gunctioning anymore. Sound must have come from somewhere else. Probably him. Nope. Bleep bleep. Life signs detected. Execute reboot program. No. Reboot cancelled. Commencing system shot down. Bloop. Bleep bleep. Robot program initiated. A reboot program initiated. Accessing data cache. Please wait. Bleep bleep. Robot pr reboot. Sorry, rip. Robot reboot program failed. Insufficient power remaining. Please recharge fuel cells and try again. Bloop. Well, that's easier said than done. I mean, what are we going to get the energy to recharge him from? We've drawn out an ener energi energization station blueprint. So we need some pipes, bent pipes, pipes, and some joints. Whoa, what's that? Is that a blueprint? So you connect the pipes and transfer the energy from the broken killing machines onto the working one. You're a genius. And if it's pipes you're after, this room's got plenty. There's only one way to find out if this is going to work. Let's give it a splot. Uh, let's see, might as well grab all of these. Hopefully I don't need the rest of these. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's put away some of this garbage too. Man, this bag is doing wonders. Power source detected. Commencing energy transfer. Power systems fully operational. Initializing reboot program. Bleep bleep. Were robot re robot reboot successful? Bleep bloop. Were <laughs> greetings. Assa assault android number zero four H. At your service. You can call me Noah. Pleasure to meet you. Thanks for the- thanks for mending the robot, dude! You builders really- really are glupendous! Estimating time spent offline. Brrr. Com computation failed. What happened here? High turbulence detected in aura field. Searching memory banks. Possible match found. Has doomsday come already? What's up with the thwack rust bucket? Sounds to me like his circuits are flied. Bzz, bleep bleep rudeness detected. I would merely like to refresh my data banks with the latest available information. Please tell me what happened here. Data banks updated. Malhalla under attack from giant arms and shadow monsters. It is as my cal calculations predicted. Doomsday has come. You keep plumbering on about this Goomsday, but what does that even mean? Doomsday is the day we are, uh, Doomsday is the day we are doomed to die. The day everything returns to nothing. The end of the world as we know it. The destruction is already at an advanced stage. This facility may not be safe for much longer. The giant arms will be searching for any remaining life forms. They will destroy this place and exterminate us all. Ah, they 
found us, Mamoru! Shadow Fiends won't be far behind. We've got a backbone to the wall here. We'll have to find our way out. Well, have fun with that. I'm going to take these things with me. Oh yeah, we never actually got to use furnaces in this game. There's a lot of blocks that we straight up just never used from the previous one. Anyway, I don't know if I'm going to need any of this, but I'm going to just grab some things. Best to have a spare, spare source of iron blocks. They're handy. The bed. Most of the rest of this stuff's probably useless, but still. Looks like that arm, arms brought an army of shadow fiends along. We'll have to break through their lines and make our escape. It's the only way out. Well, Builder, are you ready to fight save your skin and my bones? I hope you mean that, dude. I won't pretend to understand what's going on around here. But one thing's for sure, I'm not giving up without, giving up without a fight. Yeah, I think that if I've eaten, but I'm sure I did... Didn't flop around it too much. Scoff, scoff it if you get hurt. It'll make you feel better. I know another place we might be able to take refuge and rest our weary bones. It's a last resort, but it should be safer than here. Hey, there's an opening cutscene and a car. Which, yeah, where's the car? Like, I was expecting we get the car in the last chapter or something. Like, I appreciate the plot and structure for this game, but I didn't actually get to use a whole lot of interesting blocks or, like, abilities. Also, hey, the level cap went up again. Okay, I get the car in a little bit. Cool. much of reason to explore. Probably not. Certainly doesn't look like it. I'm really curious how this this chapter is organized. If it's mostly just like a linear set of kind of areas areas and challenges or if there's any any base building town building elements. Enemies exterminated. It feels good to give my ball bearings a spin after so long. <laughs> you may be a bony little human builder, but you fight like a monster. Are you really that intent on finding your body? By the way, Griswold, where where's this new safe place that you said we could make our getaway to? The Haven of Hargon, it's it's called. An unholy hovel of hatred atop high atop a hill. With the workshop destroyed, there's nowhere safer for miles around. Stupendous idea. That where Helen will be. An impetuous priestess like her will know what to do. Well then, shouldn't we get going? Slime is of the essence. You're coming along too, aren't you, dude? Eh, you came to look for your friend, not hide away from in some haven. But you'll be mashed to mush if you stay he here. Bleep bloop, calculating dude survival odds. <laughs> warning, warning. Extremely low chance of survival. Abort mission. Repeat, abort mission. Question. Nope. Yeah, it just gets me some iron. Nothing useful. You really won't come with us, dude? But you'll die for certain if you stay here. Leave him, he's made up his mind. Besides, humans and monsters are mortal enemies. Trust me, it's better if we go our separate ways. Come on, dude. When we get to the Haven of Hargon, we can ask Helen if he knows anything about your buddy. 
He's, she's bound to have heard something. Beast, one of the wisest priestess of the children of Hagen God. Rip those plot on, dude. Can't hurt to ask. Besides, I don't want us to say goodbye yet. The first thing we'll do when we get there is ask about your friend. Helen's really clued in on all the comings and goings around here. Ah. All right, then I suppose you can come with us. Just stay, stick close and follow me. Oh, that is actually pretty filling. I'm gonna get me some more. I'll have to cook the rest, but I brought the bonfire with me, so it shouldn't be a big deal. What in the world is that? Oh, what in the world is that? It's sucking everything in. Bleep, bleep, data analysis in progress. Warning, warning, super high density. Gravitational globule detected. Do not make contact. There's no telling what might happen if that thing flips us up. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Wrong character. There's no telling what might happen if that thing slips us up. Does that mean we can't go any further? We're gonna have to risk it. There's no other way through. Just watch where you're walking and don't go any closer to that thing than you have to. Oh. I think we lost the robot. Come on, you lazy bones, try to keep up. Oh, there he is. Danger, danger, warning, warning. Look out, oh, look out, the enormous arm is back. This is going to spot. Wolf one. Uh, that arm really packs a wallop. I don't know if I can walk. You go on ahead, I'll only slow you down. Don't worry about me, I'm an undead. They can't kill me twice. Now get going. Eh? You'll never leave a man behind. Pah, you're talking crazy again. I don't want to leave you either, Quithwald. Besides, I don't know the way from here. As long as we have to take it nice and slowly, you can make it. Follow me, everyone. I feel like we could fix his leg or something. Maybe. They wait for Griswold. I'm a grab smacks. Okay, there we go. Sanguine cinders. Wait, doesn't that mean bloody? It does. You coming? Oh. Wow, we still have to wait for them. I guess it was just too far away. I do actually kind of blend in with my ridiculous outfit. <laughs> like, I look like one of the witch ghosts just before it died. Well, that's probably her. Oh, there is a grafting bench up there, I think. Anything else? Eh, probably not. With Walden, are you still with us? Good. Even the Hargons, just, just up, uh, if this up this way, all we have to do is climb up. Warning, path terminates ahead, progress impeded. Gonna get across. Guess who's been hoarding blocks? Yeah. Unsurprisingly so. Yay! 
You made a bridge! That's slooper duper! Even a hard goon awaits! Ah, yet again. You and your building skills save the day. Maybe you builders aren't so bad after all. Come on, Quizwob. Stop standing around. Haven Hargon it isn't far now. Ah! Your arm's back again to squ squash this again. Watch out! Coming back. Uh, oh, oh, Griswold. <laughs> he has left us to return to the great server in the cloud. May his data live long in our memory. Now we must proceed to the haven of Hargon. I'm sorry I had the end like this, Griswold. <laughs> Just built that bridge. I do appreciate that they are actually like, I'm not gonna say just killing characters off because we barely got to interact with the guy, but like still, there's some emotional punch to this game, kind of. This is Helen. Is this the ha Haven of Hargoon? But the place is in ruins. Life form detected. Could that be Helen? Further information required. Who dares disturb my prayer? Know you not the name of Helen the Horrible? Nope. Nay, you say. Well then, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Helen, one of the three cardinal cardinals of the children of Hargon. Is there something you require of me? Speak up. Oh, great and glorious, Helen! Please save us! Everything's being squished and squashed, and we don't have anywhere to, else to go! Save you? But my child, why would I... Why ever would I need to do that? This destruction will be your salvation. Rejoice, my children, for Doomsday is here at last. The end of all things... will soon be upon us. This world will be destroyed. The children of Hargon with it. All that unholy la all that the unholy hand of the Lord and Master all at the unholy hand of the Lord and Master of Destruction. No, no, that's not right. It's not everything that gets it's not everything that gets globliterated, is it? I mean, I knew that the Master of Destruction was going to reawaken, but his only suppose to wipe out the old world, isn't he? Not everything. The master shall leave no stone unturned in his quest for destruction. Then all of those stones shall be destroyed. There is no escape. We can struggle all we like, but it won't make it different. Maybe it'd be easier if we just gave up the ghost. I can't believe you're saying that. You've forgotten about Dude, our resident builder. If anyone can get us through this squeeze, he can. What? Did you say that this boy is a builder? If this is true, then you are the nemesis of our lord and master. I should sacrifice you upon this altar right here and now. No, Helen, if Goomstay is going to finish us all off anyway, then it won't... Then won't you let us look after Dude until it's time to say goodbye? We promise he'll be goo. Come on, Dude. Let's have a look around and see if there's anything useful that might get us out of this sticky situation. That's a thing back there. Hello. Also, evil crafting bench. What have you found there? I've never seen a table like that before. Very curious. Ah, yes, that old thing. It's been sat there for as long as I can remember. The Master of Destruction bestowed his righteous ruination upon our haven. I thought he would lay waste to that worthless table, too. But as his almighty arm was poised to strike, it hesitated. Or so it seemed. Perhaps I was imagining things. Anyway, as you can see, the table remains unscathed. Huh? What's that leaning against it? It's glowing! What's that, dude? Some kind of club? And to think you made it using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing! Thanks, dude. This club's the best present anyone's ever given me. 
What's this? Did you make me a new weapon? <laughs> Thanks, I love it. I'll use this one from now on, but I'll keep hold of the Oaken Club you made for me too. After all, it's the first thing you ever made me. I suppose it's got sentimental value. Um, are you alright, dude? Does that club mean anything to you? More importantly, why is it glowing? Maybe if you picked it up... Can I wield it? Be great if I could start swinging his club and do madcap damage. Th that sludgel is the same one you made for this friend of yours. It belongs to your friend. I very much doubt that. Explain yourself. You came here in search of Malroth. What trickery is this builder? How could you possibly know that name? Malroth, is your friend too, Helen? That would be a coincidence. Only the upper echelons of the children of Hargon are supposed to know his name. How could a human like you possibly have heard it? Do not try to deceive me, Urshan. It is unfathomable to think the Master of Destruction would ever befriend one such as you. Dude, are you really friends with the Master of Destruction? I'll be flubbergasted if you are. No way! A goobin like you, friends with the Master? Can you introduce us? Don't be so gullible, Asperpaddle. Of course they're not friends. Listen here, dude. You wouldn't play silly jokes on an impressionable long slime. Wizwald's dead. The Haven of the Hargon is in ruins. And the future is bleak as it ever has been. And you want to do this... Uh, all you want to do is cause mistress. Don't listen to him, dude. I believe you. I know you wouldn't go around sp spreading lies. You're a builder, right? Isn't there something you can s slop together that might stop everyone being so grumpy? Bleep Bleep does not compute. How will he make anything without materials? This place is barren. I know, maybe I can use this. Did you just like piss in my hands? It's a bit of me. If it helps you s save us from gloom Goomsday, I'd give all the oil in my blobby body. Error, error, er, over, overflow detected in selfish, selflessness sensors. Recalculating. Grumpiness reduction plan determined. Maybe if this place was a little brighter, it might help to defrag everyone's mood. Sounds like a grand idea to me. There are four sc sconces in the Haven's Ruins that used to be burned brightly. But they've all been blown out. If only we had a way to relight them. What else can I make while I'm here? Infinite ladder. Okay, maybe not that infinite ladder. Infinite ladder. Let's see, I already have a bunch of these sitting around. Melrothium. Well. Make ten, just in case. Okay, let's put away some of this stuff. Because we probably won't need some of it for a while. Uh, let's see, while we're here... Okay, I have no idea if it's going to come in handy, but I'm going to make a boatload of iron, just because. Let's see, I don't see anything interesting around here, so... Probably stuck with this. Gooey! This is superb, dude! You really lit all the sconces, huh? Stupendous! The whole area around the haven's lit up now, and everybody's bound to start feeling sunnier. What is the meaning of this builder? Such behavior is forbidden in the promised land. A human was a builder to re, uh, to kindle the beautiful blue flame of the monsters. This will not do. I agreed to spare you before, but maybe we'd all be better off if I were to extinguish your life before doomsday comes. It's, wait, this a second. 
Dude, now things are a bit brighter here. I can see the light again, in more ways than one. Perhaps our outlook ain't as bleak as I feared. So the Builder's tricks have poisoned your mind too. Very, very well. I will let nature run its course, but do not be surprised if the Master seeks to punish you. Thanks, dude. The ground around where the haven used to stand is looking much brighter now. I even think it's lifted everyone's spirits a little. I know I accused you of telling fibs before, but I'm starting to believe that you really might be friends with the Master of the Thraxen. Locating your friend is a high priority task, but it is not our only priority. To survive, Doomsday, we will need your building skills. Chances of survival without dude's help, zero. Chances of survival with dude's help, slightly more than zero. We've learned a new recipe. Sinister sconce. When the Master of Destruction is rebooted, Doomsday will follow soon after. However, I am not ready for the plug to be pulled on my life. However, there is a way we may be able to survive the destruction. I am talking about an arm raid shelter. If we could protect our circuits in a robust shelter when Doomsday comes, we might just be able to live through obliteration. You do not have time to construct a shelter. You need to find your friend. Well, that is your prerogative. However, I calculate that a shelter would be of benefit to you, dude. Please hear me out. Many scared monsters are out there waiting for Doomsday to arrive. If they knew there was a shelter to protect them from destruction, they would seek refuge there. Perhaps some of them have information on your friend's coordinates. I calculate that this is the most efficient way to gather a comprehensive data set. I understand where you're coming from, Noah, but don't you think it should be for due to the side with the build, with better build? Indeed, do not place your trust in this sinful builder. He cannot save us. Our salvation will come in the form of complete and utter annihilation. Be be quiet. I am not ready to power down. There is plenty of energy left in my fuel cells. I refuse to let it go to waste. Please, dude. Will you construct a safe shelter and rescue Malhalla's monsters? Bleep, bleep. Pleasure indicators activated. Thank you, dude. You have made an absolute robot. Uh, obsolete robot. Very happy. We must begin work on the shelter immediately. Doomsday is fast approaching. Make it all out of iron with a gate and spaceship walls. Bleep bleep. Did you generate this blueprint, dude? It will provide an excellent refuge for the monsters when it is complete. You're genius. Who'd have thought to uh, upgrade the remains of the Haven into a slooper shelter for our monster mates? He would desecrate the unholy haven of Hogon. The Master of Destruction raised it with his own hand. Drawing a blueprint's all well and goop, but how are you gonna build it? We don't have any materials. Critical problem detected. No matter how much we squeeze Eris Blottle, it will never secrete any blocks. You seek to defile the haven of Hogon with your brutish blocks. Do not think for one moment I shall aid you in this sinful scheme, Builder. Oh, that's right. I nearly forgot. Helen is one of the wisest places in the Children of Hargon. If anyone knows where we can find the materials to build a blueprint, it's her. You're even more of an imbecile than you look. Even if I did know, why would I reveal such dangerous information to a builder and his traitorous lackeys, pray tell? You're just being selfish now. Earthbottle nearly squeezed himself dry trying to get that oil before. I think you need to start pulling your weight. Initiating Priestess Persuasion Protocol. Remember, dude is the master's friend. If you mistreat him, there is a high probability you will face, punish face punishment. I, I, 
I've refused to believe that. Is it inconceivable that this human could have formed a relationship with our master, isn't it? But if by some strange twist of fate he speaks the truth... Oh, very well, I should cooperate for now. Set a course southwest of here. You will find the molted carapace of our master. Shed as his power grew and his monstrous form changed. Bring back... Bring back to me five terrible talons, three humongous horns, and ten blocks of his scales. Succeed in this simple task, and I will tell you what I know. Did you hear that, dude? She'll tell us how to make the materials! Isn't that great? All we have to do is find the Master of Destruction, slay my old skin, and bring back a few bits and blobs! I'll go with you! Wow, that did not go nearly as fast as I wanted it to. Let's get some more of these down, because I need some iron. Maybe not necessarily, but you know what? The more iron I can just have going, the better. Because I get the feeling we're going to have to cross that. I'm curious if I can just do it myself. We'll find that out. Anyway, time to go gather our buddy's skin. Gross. At least we don't have, like, critters coming to bite me. Can you wield the Melroth Club now? Interesting question. Probably not. Nope, but I can carry it around. I wonder if we use it specifically to bonk him, because he said hit him in the head. I get the feeling we we probably give him what for with the uh with the club. Look, it's another one of those gravitational globules! We'll be in deep cuckoo if that thing slurps us up. Let's look for another way around. <laughs> oh. They just dropped citadel bits. And like cotton. Wow. I wish the rest of the enemies in this game had this level of a drop rate. And here's another one. If that thing swallows us up, we're sure to come to a sticky end. We can't go this way. Let's keep looking for a safe path. But first, Bard Murder. There's Sundra in every chapter of this game. Yes. We followed Helen's directions correctly. Master's shed skin should be somewhere clues. Gooby! Is that what she was talking about? Those pointy things look like horns to me. We should bounce up for a closer look. What about those blocks? Do they look like scales to you? We'll have a goo and check. Huh. I can't see any talons up there. Oh, maybe they're on the ground instead. It's time to go in for a closer look. Let's grab all the scales, horns, and claws we need and take them back to Helen. Yep, it's pretty gross. Okay, luckily, I have infinite ladders. I'm really disappointed that we couldn't make other blocks out of wood. Because it'd be pretty funny to just go, uh... Just make, like, a full-on wooden cottage and, like, several other things here. Like, I've got the materials, and it's just like, no! This is gross. Well, I don't know if we need more scales, but... Oh, dude, we could make Malroth's house out of his own scales. Yep. And his floor out of his own blood? Oh, God, that's like... That's just gross enough that he'd probably love it. Mm -hmm. 
No, he's like a four or six armed, like, monster looking guy. I don't, I don't know why this is so huge, because Mel, like, the Melroth monster is not actually that terribly large. Oh, level up. Let's see, I probably don't learn anything interesting. But that's okay. Yeah, Sanguine Sand. Kind of reminds you of the Rune wor world in Starbound. I was actually going to say, this kind of reminds me of the world of Rune in, um... Well, maybe not the world of Rune. But, uh, somebody was commenting on this. And I have to wholeheartedly agree with them. I would love it if they did more, like, builder spin-off games of other Square Enix products. Like, I would absolutely adore a Final Fantasy VI Builders game. Uh, like, post-Kafka. Like, after you've taken Kafka out. And you have to, like, rebuild this, like, weird twisted world. And so you still have, like, all the characters running around. You might not even be, like, one of the main, um... You might not even be one of the, like, main characters from the game. Uh... Eh. You could be, uh... What's his face? The suplex... God damn. Um... Sabin? Was it Sabin? I think it was Sabin. It's been a long time since I played Final Fantasy VI and I renamed all the characters as dumb things. Like Train Puncher. Because, like, I like Dragon Quest, but, like, I'd love to see some alternate products being shown off. Just as a, as a, like, kind of fun thing. Yeah, Sabin and his brother Edgar. Yeah, like, how, how rad would that be if, if it was just Sabin and Edgar uh, trying to rebuild? Because Edgar, Edgar was like an inventor of sorts, and Sabin was the muscle man. Like, you could straight up, there's your formula right there. Sabin's just the Malroth equivalent, and Edgar, Edgar's the builder. And you're just running around fixing stuff. Wow, that's a lot of birds. They don't, they really don't appreciate me harvesting their, uh, Malroth's skin. I guess it is kind of creepy. Edgar being the king and would do more building. Yep. I, I could really see that being like a, a promising uh, product IP or something like that. And yeah, the formula, formula wouldn't even have to change too much. Just slightly different story. Or Sid. I mean, you could be Sid. I don't know. It'd be fun. Not that it would need to happen or anything like that. It'd just be... It'd be fun to see more, like, spin-off games like this. Because I really enjoyed World of Final Fantasy. Uh, I thought that was an absolutely fantastic idea for a game. And... I would gladly play more, like, weird spin-offs. But they seem to have really nailed this formula. So, like, it'd be kind of fun to see them... Uh, you know, it'd be fun to see them try with some other things. Oh, that's what's going on. Shell left the beanbag chair out in the hall and I keep seeing it as like a person's silhouette and it keeps freaking me out. If you're... If you've grabbed everything Helen asked for, we can head back to the Haven. You can't warp here. And that magic cape of yours won't work either, so we'll have to go on foot. That's in inconvenient. Still, this should be enough. Let's see, another cool builder game would be Suica in. Yeah, but that IP is like super dead from what I know. I don't know. Weird pipe dreams. All army of slimes? What in the? 
We're gloomed. Gloomed, gloomed, I say. The end of the world is nigh. But at least we'll all be splattered together. Yeah. Yeah, probably after we make the shelter. Uh, whoa, that's a lot of birds just hanging out. Well, they all get the they all get the smack him. Oh, hey, more claws. I didn't even notice these. Alroth, your bedroom is going to be weird. It cannot I mean just makes uh, pachinko games now. Yep. I would love it if they actually sold off all their, like, all the rights to make new games to, like, uh, new studios. And they can just, like, profit off of it and just pachinko harder. At the same time, I... I'm actually kind of glad Konami has kind of stepped back. Because now a lot of their, like, old directors are, are starting off to, like, branch out and make their own games. Uh... Like I, I was a huge fan of Bloodstained's Ritual of the Ritual of the Night. Like that was a that was a really fantastic game. And Ida might have stuck with Konami a little while longer, but since they switched entirely over to Pachinko, why would he? They're gonna have so many windows. So on one hand, sucks a little bit. On the other hand, I guess we get some pretty sweet games out of it, all things considered. We did put out the Contra Classics collection. Yeah. No, that's fair. There, there is definitely some, like, OG... Well, not OG Konami stuff, but, like, they'll probably put a little bit of effort in. I mean, they did take... They did make Metal Gear survive, but, like... Eh. Oh yeah, there's uh, another monster hanging out there. Doomsday is coming. Can't be far off now. Goodbye, cruel world. It's nice knowing you. I'm not gonna do the monkey noises. Should probably not uh, stop for a snack break soon, because I'm actually pretty hungry. Oh well. So now we will go up here. The Builder returns, and with everything I asked him to collect from the Master's Mold, no less. The arms that lash this land are indeed those of our Lord, however, his power fluctuates uncontrollably, making his rampage as violent and erratic. As he struggles to contain this burgeoning strength, he must destroy himself to be reborn ever stronger. The items I sent you to gather are the remains of one of his discarded shells. That's a jelly interesting story, but why did you want us to bring back this slopped off gunk? Are we going to build stuff out of it? Uh, very well, I shall tell you what I know. The precise method has been long forbidden, but there is a way to transform those molted relics into uh, into usable materials. However, to do so requires an altar of the most monstrous nature. I wonder if our oh-so-clever builder has the wherewithal to dabble in the dark arts. Metal Gear Builder. Be interesting. I doubt it would ever happen, but it could be kind of fun. Forbidden Altar. Arcane apparatus for performing unholy alchemical experiments. Can be used to extract materials from Malroth's shell. What? You've learned how to make the Forbidden Altar, but... But... This is a secret no human should know. Oh, very well. Now that the secret is out, there's no reason to stop you from making use of it. Once you've crafted a Forbidden Altar, place any of the terrible talons, humongous horns, or blocks and scales inside of it. After a short while, his unholy appendages will be transformed into sinful materials you seek. Well, what are you waiting for? Make the forbidden altar and set to work. Mahal is a land bereft of materials, but fear not. Simply place some sinister items like terrible talons into a forbidden altar to transform them into something useful. Okay. We might as well grab the other bonfire over here and start cooking these semi-regularly. Yeah, so he's just pooping around.
Okay, so that's a heck of a lot of iron. Oh. Spaceship? Reinfire reinforced iron corner. <gasps> It'll go well with the prison castle. Big bolt. Okay. Uh, let's see. Right. I gotta go up here. I might have to go get more of these materials later. Probably. Okay, so I need a couple of these. I guess I'll put the Forbidden Altar directly next to it. Okay, so it looks like we might want to make a couple of these. Because it looks like this might take a while. We might as well put nothing but scales in, considering I've got loads of these. I no, I should probably put in a couple of couple of these, see if we get any different resources. Oh, I see. I have to activate it. Okay. Belrothium. Spaceship wall. Block of strangely alien metallic substance can be dyed. Doors of Doom. Portly, portentous portal decorated with the bones of the dead can be opened and closed. Citadel walls. Citadel floors. Yeah, so it does look like there's a reason to gather some of these. Each resource results in different things. 